Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thor and today I would like to talk about what it's like to be a vlogger. And I wanted to make this video just to give you an idea of my life, my experiences of making videos and how I tend to see it. And often I felt very weird about like making videos. I felt like, uh, how can people watch this? I always wondered that. How can people watch this? I don't get it. I don't, I, it took a long time for me to understand it. But then I kind of realized it. You know what I realized? I realized that being a blogger is like being a pizza delivery guy. It's kind of like being the person that delivers the pizza every day. You know, it's like um, every day you come home and uh, you go on YouTube and you put on your favorite YouTuber. And it's uh, just like uh, having a pizza delivered to you at the door. It's like having somebody serve you food every day. It's like having somebody give you something every day. It says it's a ritual. It's like going to the cafe every day for a cup of coffee. We have, all of us have these rituals, you know, I have YouTubers I follow as well, I have people I watch and listen to and read as well. And um, what we like is of course we're very, very personal, everyone has their own taste, everyone is looking for di different things. And uh, I uh, absolutely love the thought of creating and of making videos and of writing. I started out in 2007. I started because I was bored and because I had a mind that kept on buzzing, you know. Uh, my head has always been full of ideas and thoughts and uh, writing and making videos became a way to kind of actually express that voice. I believe that a person that has a strong sense of identity will also, um, and that has a lot of thoughts and has uh, strong boundaries with themselves is going to be able to create a lot more because uh, when you set strong boundaries for yourself you allow yourself to recharge then suddenly you get a lot of ideas and you get a lot of uh, knowledge and you get a lot of insight because you're taking the time to get to know yourself you're taking the time to mind your own boundaries and that all comes together in a desire to create and uh, to express yourself and to go get out in the world a lot of people experience going out as something stressful. Making a video is a pressure. Doing, writing an article is pressure, you know. And that's typical when you, when you're, when you push yourself too much and when you lack a strong sense of boundaries and identity in a sense. Uh, when you're too bound by how other people see you, when you're too bound by what other people think of you, and when you feel pressure to go out and to be outgoing, pressure to make videos and to make content. And that pressure, it's never good for creativity because it becomes like a block. Every time we do it, it becomes something we must do, a should. It's nothing fun, it's nothing good about it. And most YouTubers stop making videos if they start feeling that pressure too much. A lot of YouTubers struggle with taking breaks, taking timeouts because uh, they feel suddenly it goes from being a hobby, something they do because it's fun, to being something they do because they must, because they need to... <laughs> feed themselves, get money, they need to get, I don't know. And uh, that's just not how it should be. Like if you want to be a good creator, you have to make sure you always maintain the fun of it. You always have to make sure it's become something that enriches your life and gives you stimulation. Coming home and making a video should be like a thrill. It shouldn't be a pressure. So make sure that it becomes a thrill. And how do you make sure that it becomes a thrill? Well, it's by allowing yourself a lot of time to research. Like, uh, if you're a day-to-day -day lifestyle vlogger, you know, all those people that just talk about themselves and what they do on a daily basis, then research is going to the movies, research is booking flight tickets to travel, research is being out there meeting people, talking to new people, you know, having good experiences. If you're a personality vlogger like me, research is reading the latest literature, uh, reading books, you know, talking to people, getting to know people. It's taking time to introspect and think back on yourself and to dive into yourself, like uh, research a lot because uh, what I've found with most creative types is creative types are avid consumers of information. Creative types read more, watch more videos on Netflix, uh, study more, have more experiences and have more conscious lives, you know. It's no matter what you do, if you're a gamer that vlogs about gaming, if you're a Netflix watcher that uh, writes your own stories and fan fiction, you know, no matter what, 
it's the research, it's the taking time to read and to have fun and to consume information consciously that gets you to learn. Like if you're not conscious while you do it, it's not worthwhile. If you read without taking in what you read, it's a waste of time. If you watch movies without being awake, or without taking time to think about what you watch, then it's a waste of time. You know? There's a difference between playing video games to escape and just uh, stoning out and just being dead while you do it and having fun and being conscious and doing it because you love it and because it's a passion to you. And that's important to recognize. I don't care what you do as long as you do it consciously, as long as you do it out of love and creativity and because it gives you a kick of energy. It helps you recharge, it helps you give your life meaning and purpose. No matter what it is, do it. And uh, most of us that love what we do, that do what we do consciously, we like to talk to other people about it. If you're having good experiences, if you watch the world around you, if you uh, see and discover new things. You want to share it. Ideas want to be shared. <laughs> it's like memes. Uh, it's like they have a life of their own and they want to be spread across the world. And that's why it's not strange that there are so many YouTubers and vloggers and bloggers out there. And that's why it's not strange that there are so many people watching YouTube and reading blogs out there, you know. Because uh, we all love to take in new information and we all love to talk and discuss things together. I also think uh, being a blogger is special because you have an audience that's so important, you know. The audience is, matters so much. Uh, and the biggest pressure that I experience personally is like, for example, uh, I can be insecure about my looks and my appearance at times. Uh, how do I dress for a video? I can be insecure about technology and I can run into technical blocks like videos not working, lagging computers and yeah, all kinds of issues, crashing videos, uploads that don't work. Those things can take the fun out of things and sometimes I lack the creative flow, sometimes I hit blocks like everyone else. Sometimes I feel like I should make a video and I can't get into the good speaking flow, you know. You can have an idea, but you can struggle to formulate it, clearly. I have that issue a lot. And uh, what I try to do is minimize the pressure as much as possible. If I'm not feeling it, then I try not to do it. If I can, I try to make sure instead that I read something, that I just sit back, you know. It's no, it's no point stressing over it. It's no point worrying about it. Just put myself in a good state again, then let the flow come, and then create the video. That's for the best. It's also about respecting yourself for what you do, and uh, not invalidating yourself for what you do, you know. Sometimes you can feel pressure to be more confident when you speak, to be more fun, to be more entertaining, you know. Just take away all of that. Don't worry so much about that. Respect who you are and your unique way of expressing yourself and who you or as a person, you know, if uh, you're trying to be something you're not, your audience will note this and uh, they won't like it and you won't like it either, <laughs> you know. But if you're trying to be yourself and you do, and you find that flow from being yourself, that's when people are gonna like it and that's when you're gonna like it too. So respect what you do and respect the level you're at and uh, don't force yourself or push yourself to grow too fast or too much. You don't have to know everything you're talking about. You don't have to be an expert. You can also be a person asking questions. Uh, you don't have to... You know, some people, when they start making YouTube videos, they start by trash-talking others. They start by attacking people they don't like, and they start by building their identity by trying to tear other people down. You know, they can quickly feel envious of those that already have done something, and they can feel envious, and they just... Uh, build their message around how they much they dislike other people. You know, while that might give you some use in the beginning, if you don't find your original content, if you can't find your unique voice, who you are, and if you can't find who you are, no matter what other people are, then other people are not gonna identify with you and they're not gonna stick with you. So you have to find your own voice and your own words. And you have to speak about something original. You have to find your own niche. Uh, it's not a niche to be anti. <laughs> it's a trap, really. And you can get stuck there, so make sure you don't start out with a negative tone. 
being a vlogger is an amazing experience to grow because it shows you your own process of growth. You can go back and see how you step forward. You can notice how many steps forward you've taken and that's a privilege because most of us live in the future so much we don't notice our progress. But when you have a YouTube or a blog, you get immediate feedback all the time on how you improve. And you can go back and go like, wow, I can't believe I said that or I can't believe I've done that. And I'm so like, wow, I've actually taken a step forward and I'm happy about that. So with all that said, um, wish you the best of luck. I hope more people start up their own vlogs and vlogs because it really is an amazing experience to have a community and to have people around you and to have somebody to talk to. It, everyone needs that. Everyone should have that. Thank you all for watching this video and hope to see you guys in the next one.